Okay, so the goal that I chose to go with was goal five. All teachers will implement at least four blended learning lessons at the adoption stage and one at either the adapt, uh, adaptation, infusion, or transformation stage. So um, I have actually have one that probably fits in the uh, adaptation stage, one that kind of straddles the fence of uh, adaptation and adoption, and three other ones that are probably in the adoption stage. So uh, my first one that I had the kids do, um, this was when we were talking about energy resources. Uh, I had the students, um, they, they were able to choose actually whatever uh, alternative energy source that they would have liked to uh, research. And then they were to create a PowerPoint uh, based upon that energy resource. It, and it needed to include things such as a description of the energy resource, whether or not that energy resource um, was renewable or non-renewable, because they could also include fossil fuels um, if they wanted to do coal or ga natural gas or um, oil. Uh, also, how the energy resource was produced. How did they actually access it? How did they get it? Um, some advantages, some disadvantages. So they were given a certain set of criteria for each slide, what they actually needed to have in it. But the reason I kind of say that it's in the uh, adaptation stage um, is because they were able to uh, search, use the internet, use the tools on the internet to find uh, the information how, how they could. I didn't provide them the websites uh, it was up to them to do the research and find the information and then ultimately to create a PowerPoint slide and present it to the class as if they were the expert or the teacher on uh, their energy source. So uh, that was the, was the one where I felt like it was kind of straddling the fence between adoption and adaptation. Um, another uh, blended learning uh, activity that I had the kids do, it also had to do with alternative energy sources and it was um, by the way, all of these were posted on Schoology, except for one that I'm going to tell you about. Um, but this next one, it was posted on Schoology. It was uh, something that the kids were able to access. It was called Save the World with Alternative Energy. And it was essentially a simulation that the kids uh, were able to go through. And in the simulation, they were able to choose um, between different countries of origin. And it was up to them based upon uh, what resources they saw that were available or what like the climate was like or what uh, if there was water available or if it looked like there was open fields, what type of alternative energy source they would use or would be most effective in that particular part of the world. So they go through these simulations, they put different um, energy, uh, alternative energy sources like windmills or they put tidal energy uh, things in like an ocean area or they put um, geothermal plants near volcanoes. So they go through these simulations and they see which one of the, uh, the energy resources or the alternative energy resources were best suited for uh, the location that they were at. That one was definitely a, a uh, blended learning exercise where they were able to work in groups. And I feel like it was in the adoption stage because I gave them the tool um, and it was up to them to just kind of utilize that tool to further uh, develop their understanding of these alternative energy sources. Um, another one on the science realm, and this one is uh, probably in the adoption stage. And uh, we did this one pretty recently. I had the kids um, and I assigned, I think it was, yeah, it was six groups. Um, I assigned them different biomes because there's six different biomes that we wanted to focus on in the world. So I assigned each group a different biome. It was up to them. Uh, there was actually a website that was built that kind of walked them through it. I assigned them the biome. It was up to them to uh, determine, besides the fact that they had to determine the climate and the, uh, the rainfall or the amount of precip precipitation annually and the, uh, the temperature annually, they also had to decide um, through re research on the website, which the website actually provided them with websites to do their research. So they had the tool, I provided the, all the tools that they had and they needed. 
they were able, they were to find three different types of animals and three different types of plants that are uh, native to this particular biome and what it is about that particular animal what adaptation about that particular animal allows it to survive and thrive in this particular biome so um, again this was at the adoption stage because i feel like it provided them with all the tools that they needed um, it was up to them to follow the uh, follow along on the the tools that I provided with them and gather the information. And um, also with this particular um, activity, they created um, their own, basically their own anchor chart papers uh, where they got together all their information. And just like the uh, energy resource project, they uh, were the experts on their biomes. It was up to them to present the information, present their animals, talk about their biomes, and educate their uh, classmates about the biome and how certain animals or plants were able to survive and adapt to that biome. So that was, um, I believe, the third one. The fourth one, which I'm, I'm sure is I'm considering a um, pretty much the adaptation stage, and this is because uh, I didn't really provide them any tools. I provided them with a um, a model for what I expected of them, but I didn't provide them any uh, tools in order to get their uh, their uh, project accomplished. And this uh, activity actually wasn't posted on Schoology. It was uh, I posted it up on the board, which is interesting because I'm I'm saying this is the adaptation one. But uh, nonetheless, they were to create a food web based upon uh, a particular ecosystem. So uh, in this case, I allowed them to choose whichever ecosystem they, they wanted. I put several of them on the board, but they had criteria that they had to fulfill. They were to do research about this ecosystem and find two different producers from that ecosystem, three primary consumers, two secondary consumers, and three third level consumers. And they were to create through research, researching what uh, primary, secondary, producer, all of these, what are actually from this ecosystem, and using that research, create a food web that was had illustrations, uh, was labeled, was colored, and to be quite honest, I got some pretty amazing projects that are far and well beyond what I can do in regards to art. I was pretty amazed by some of them. It was pretty awesome. Um, but anyways, they were able to go on the internet, do their own research, use the tools uh, on the internet the way that they saw fit in order to accomplish the task that I set out for them. Um, so that's why I kind of say that it was at the uh, that second level above adoption. Uh, and the last one that I wanted to tell you about was actually a social studies one. And this one was actually kind of similar to the energy resources in that uh, the students were, I, I allowed them to select a founding father. Uh, they had to choose from John Adams, George Washington, Ben Franklin, or Thomas Jefferson. And it was up to them to provide images, facts about their lives and uh, how they contributed to the American Revolution. So it was up to them to do all that research and to uh, create a 10 slide PowerPoint presentation uh, about the Founding Father. And again, um, I actually provided them with the Brain Pop videos in Schoology. I provided them with uh, links to uh, Ducksters, I believe is the website, where they uh, were able to do research pertaining to their particular Founding Father. So I provided them all the tools. Uh, it was up to them, though, to go watch the videos or do the research on the websites and compile the information to put into their PowerPoint presentation. And again, it was up to them to be, as a group, the experts on their particular founding father in order to present their founding father to the rest of the class, uh, kind of as the teacher for that particular time. Um, and that is all that I have to share. Hopefully that was okay. Thank you very much.